I might get. <sighs> Mimi, I'm in Belgium again. I'm in Belgium. <clears throat> Talking of Belgium. <sighs> I've just been researching again. And I watched the most depressing uh, video, Mimi. Forgotten underwear and underland mines full of TNT. And the video then quickly moved forward to uh, nuclear bombs. I left uh, half a dozen comments, or maybe more. Uh, man is mad. Mad, yeah. You know, I, I mentioned this before. Before 1945, cancers were relatively unknown, and since then, they viewed cigarettes as the fall guy. <laughs> Tell me, what child has died of childhood leukemia has died from smoking 40 cigarettes a day? Rubbish. Anyway, yeah, sorry, I'm in one of those moods at the present moment. I think it's due to my hay fever. Yeah. I was in the Nuclear Accident Reaction Organization in the UK when I was in the RAF. I was based in Chester. We covered um, <clears throat> the nuclear site, um, nuclear power stations of Anglesey. Uh, I've forgotten his name now. And uh, Northwest England, Cumbria, Sellafield, Winskill, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, uh, this, this suppression stank, stank, you know. Ulva, Ulva on Anglesey. They were quite safe. But Sellafield Windscale, oh, for fuck's sakes. I'm telling you. Yeah. My friend uh, near Chester lives uh, in northeast wales he's describing me uh, working practices in sellafield windscale he, he was involved in install installing uh, uh much millions up um installing uh remote cameras uh cctv basically and this is way back in the 90s and he says Fuck, it's nuts there he <laughs> if there isn't so many accidents, incidents, incidents with incidents, incidents happening there, uh, <laughs> most of them are not reported, you know. Anyway, I'm going to have a look around now. I, I'm quite affected after watching that hour and a half video. Yeah. Ah, well, well, a bunch of cunts.